simultaneously you can measure multiple physical parameters and it's the signal processing data and signal processing to ascribe meaning to the intelligence of that signal mm -hmm. that's the that's that's a that's a key part we like to say there's three key parts of this the sensor itself uh, you know the geometry the materials that the sensor is made of how it's how it's put together the second foundation is the interrogation devices there's a convergence that's happening in, independent of sensors and other industries where this where the acquisition the data acquisition interrogation systems they're shrinking so these things have been converging from this this rack down to things that we've developed the things that are commercially coming out and things that Susan and Rob are talking about to make the interrogation systems smaller and smaller and smaller there's there's clear viable paths to, to get there can I ask a question there on that um, so each each one of these different metrics has a unique change in the EMF, and you're writing an algorithm that is letting the interrogator slash soon smartphone differentiate from that change in EMF. That's a heart rate change. This is a moisture change. That's right. Yes. Right. You'd be measuring two different things at the same time. That's Let's cool. design one sensor to resonate at 100 hertz, uh, or 100 megahertz, one sensor to resonate at 150, and one to resonate at 200. Um, Let's take each one of those sensors and put them on a different person. And now you can monitor three people at the same time in the same suite. So if you wanted to configure these to have channels or different, um, you know, different persons of interest wearing the sensor, you could monitor five people at the same time because they're all having a sensor that responds the same to the phenomena that's happening that their body's projecting out, but is being read at a different frequency. Susan's got a great image. Do you remember where they had vital signs monitoring equipment attached to each person, and there were four people up on a screen in their QRS yes. waveform? We can create a system pretty easily that would, you know, detect and would simultaneously have the person's name, age, vitals.